Hey, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, you guys enjoy when I do this, so I'm going to actually tune the bands on uh, this radio today, Degen DE1103. Uh, we're going to go from 3000 to 4000 kilohertz. So part of it is utilities, there's some in international broadcasts, and there's, of course, the 80 meters amateur radio band. So we're going to actually use different methods of tuning from AM to single sideband and so on. So we're going to start the bottom part with a uh, single sideband. It's 22 hours and 10 minutes UTC uh, today, November 29th. So let's start tuning around and see what's on the bands. With the DGND 1103 connected to an MLA30 loop antenna. CHU Canada time signal on 3330 kilohertz. Now we're getting into the 80 meter amateur radio band, which is a lower sideband band. FT8. This is uh, the W1AW Morse code on 3581.5, I believe. It's uh, for people that want to uh, learn Morse code, they have these lessons and they typically uh, they typically uh, We'll be uh, sending test some uh, text from QST magazine and so on. And we're gonna take it out here and take a take a peek at this. Let's we'll see if we can. Uh... There we go. This is using an Android app called Morse Decoder. So this is an example of decoding Morse code here with an app. It decodes well here because this is Morse code sent by a computer, so it's very stable. And here we should now hear some ham radio operators and single sideband.
That's uh, in French. Some local hams here. Was tuning from 3000 to 4000 kilohertz. I'm going to go back down. some uh, AMers. A lot of AMers around 3870 to 3890. French language AMers. Once again, that's the W1EW signal, 3581 in Morse code. Some uh, FT8, 3574. And now we're going to go here. 3485 should be 
Gander, Newfoundland, Canada in about less than a minute from now. So we're going to see if we're going to hear the uh, 3485 kilohertz upper sideband on a Dijon D1103, of course. Once again, I'm using the MLA30 Loop Outdoor here in Montreal. And all of this with uh, the cables and uh, the multi-coupler to help me uh, have the signal on multiple receivers at once. As a uh, analog phase lock loop or PLL radio, you notice that it does not mute when tuning. So it's there, but it's very weak right now. Go back down. Once again, 3330, which has CHU Canada time signal. If you wonder what I'm doing here, I'm shifting between a narrow and a wide filter. And an AM mode. I will be in on the wide filter for better audio fidelity and on single sideband I'll put it narrow to uh, avoid a little bit of interference. So here it uh, jumps. This is a a feature of this radio, it has different band spreads and sometimes you have to punch in the frequency to continue. But anyways, that was the uh, tuning of the Dijon DE1103 at 2210 to 2221 universal time between 3 and 4 megahertz. I uh, hope that you enjoy these little tuning the bands with different radios. I know a lot of you do enjoy this. If you like my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.